the sea is like one vast single organism. Every single component in the sea f performs a function and many of them are vital to the well-being and health of the sea itself. If you remove any of these factors, you unbalance the sea and other factors which are completely unexpected come into play. The major factor in balancing the seas, in fact you could call it the liver and the lungs of the seas, is seaweed. Seaweed can only grow on less than 2% of the total mass of the sea, the total area of the sea. Seaweed also provides a home for innumerable creatures, all of which have a function and are very, very carefully balanced out in the jungle that is seaweed by natural selection processes and other factors. These animal colonies are difficult to understand. When the research is limited and much of it controlled by the seaweed harvesting companies, it is not surprising that much of it is private and therefore not available. There is no doubt the events recorded in these videos have been caused by an imbalance in the areas where they occurred. Officially, the cause is unknown, but these are areas where large-scale seaweed harvesting has been going on for a very long time. These events are caused by an overabundance of nutrients, mainly nitrogen and phosphates. As you can see from the paper, seaweed removes nitrogen and phosphates. The next paper is from the Seaweed Symposium of 2011. It's from the leading company on seaweed harvesting on the Norwegian coast. It essentially says that it controls the harvesting and it controls the research. It also goes on to say that there is a large imbalance in seaweed population in the south and in the north. This paper goes on to say how much seaweed in the south has disappeared. It also goes on to say that Norway is beginning to experience the same seaweed growth that France and other countries have begun to experience. This is a paper produced by the Environmental Service in the UK on the feasibility of seaweed harvesting in Northern Ireland. Here it says that mechanical harvest harvesting techniques could threaten the marine ecosystem and damage the seabed. In other words, the biggest factor in preventing the regrowth and sustainability of seaweed could be the seaweed harvesting activities. Here it says it removes sediments and nutrients, improving the food supply of independent biological communities. One of the theories for the disappearance of certain types of seaweed in the south of Norway is that sediment has caused it. Um, the simple fact is that if the seaweed removes the sediment, you remove the seaweed, then the sediment doesn't get removed, then the sediment stops the regrowth of seaweed. Seaweed, like any plant, requires sunlight to grow. Very simple, very basic, hardly rocket science. This piece talks about uh, how much wave damping seaweed does and how its removal could be responsible for coastal erosion. This we already know in a paper produced in Norway, in fact produced here at Husta. In fact the whole paper is a very sensible report on the possibility of utilizing seaweed and harvesting it sustainably. Unfortunately the regulation of seaweed harvesting is mostly down to the companies doing the seaweed harvesting themselves, as we have seen from FMC's own report. This report from the Natural Environment Research Council talks about dead zones in the sea. These have been gradually growing and are of increasing occurrence they are areas where there is no oxygen in fact very often no oxygen at all so nothing grows there 
no fish, no plants, nothing. As seaweed is responsible for maintaining the sea, this is of very deep concern. It goes on to say that profound ecosystem level changes are now evident. It goes on further to say that n aquatic nutrient enrichment strongly influences the fate and effects of other non-nutrients contaminants including pathogens. In other words if you change the nutrients level in the sea you increase the risk of people becoming sick from poisons which are normally taken up. A survey found that Norway had some 80 million tons of seaweed so why should the removal of 200,000 tons per year of a plant that regrows anyway have any serious effect on the ecosystem? The reason is that a great deal of the harvesting is now taking place in nature reserves and places which are sensitive to wildlife on the coast for only one reason that I can think of and that is that there is diminishing stocks of seaweed elsewhere this article talks about nine nature reserves, bird reserves, being opened to seaweed harvesting and the locals protesting bitterly about this but their pleas falling on deaf ears. Neither the seaweed harvesting company nor the state seems to be sensitive to any wildlife issues. As every part of the North Sea is connected to every other part of the North Sea, what happens in Norway undoubtedly has effects in other parts. The damage to the seaweed beds in the south and the disappearance of the seaweed beds in the north has been ascribed to many things. There is only one new factor in the last 30 years which has come to affect the seabed and that is tara trawling. Is it actually sensible or even sane to allow a company whose stated aim is simply profit to have control of activities which could affect the lives, health and well-being of every person on this planet. There are very few uses for seaweed which are vital. It seems that if the damage to the seaweed beds extends further along the coast and they disappear completely then every single one of us, man, woman and child, will have to pay. If you are interested in how much, then this article from the BBC may give you some idea. The answer is far more than the seaweed companies have ever earned from the seaweed harvesting and they won't be the ones who have to pay. It'll be us. The record of major companies, the environment and our health is not a happy one. At the end of the day the seaweed harvesting is making those involved in the industry extremely rich. Are we really stupid enough to allow our environment to be threatened by somebody who wants a new BMW for Christmas? At the end of the day that is what it boils down to. We can guess at some of the deleterious effects of seaweed harvesting but we cannot guess at the long-term effects. We are talking about 30 or 40 years.